Today we're taking a look at Milwaukee's Angular Interchangeable Fish Tape System. And I'm going to tell you why I have a love-hate relationship with this. But first, let's take a look at the kit that I bought. And let's go over and we're going to discuss uh, what you can get with this um, interchangeable kit. And we're going to go over some of the features this has. So when I bought this kit, it came with the power base, which I have the power base right here. It came with two of the uh, CP batteries of the 2.0s. Those are the 2.0s. And I thought that they would have came with bigger uh, M18 batteries like the 5.0s. But the, the 2.0s actually work out really nice. And they add a lot less weight to the unit because this unit is kind of heavy. So I'm going to get rid of this box. And we're going we're gonna to look at the unit itself. So... This came with a 120 foot steel fish tape cartridge. Now, I wasn't happy with the steel one. I already had my order in for the polyester one and I would really like to see them come out with a fiberglass version because I am not a fan of the polyester version of the fish tape. But, Hopefully they come out with a fiberglass version, but they also have a 240 foot steel version that you can also get too. I think that, I don't even know the price. They're like, they're a little over a hundred bucks, but which is pretty reasonable for the, the different fish tapes that you can get because if you go and buy a normal fish tape itself, you're gonna spend over that uh, $100 pretty much anyways. So this, this, oh, this, this is kind of heavy. It weighs probably a good 10 pounds with the battery on it. And this unit has a forward and reverse. Now, one of my biggest things I did not like with this when I got it was you got your forward and reverse and they don't label the sides. Now, you would say, hey, what's the big deal? You know, forward and reverse, whatever, you know. But for some people, if you accidentally hit the reverse <clears throat> when you have it on and it retracts back in, you're gonna pull this head off because this has a lot of lot of torque that it is pulling against. And so if you're not paying attention, you're gonna lose the end of this fish tape head. And so that's why I put a little F and R on each side just, just as a reminder in my head. I know that that's forward and reverse, but I want to make sure when I, if I'm in a hurry and I glance and I hit the button that, hey, that's reverse. <laughs> and so you can lock it too. Middle is lock. And now what I really would have liked to see with this unit, I was kind of upset, is I would have really liked a release on this. Because if you have this locked or even in retract or forward, you can't pull, you cannot pull on this fish tape and pull it out. You have to use this and just let it and and it doesn't come out easy either you it especially with the polyester it seems like it binds up a little bit inside the cartridge and it doesn't really fully uh extend out and it kind of so you have to kind of keep pulling it as it's retracts or extending out and then you got this big ball of mess and this stuff has a lot of memory with this, with the polyester. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like the polyester. And that's just my preference only. I know everybody else has their own preferences on their fish tape. I like fiberglass. I like the fiberglass one because it is still rigid enough and it still protects in the pipe, unlike steel, especially when, you know, if you're working with a live panel. Now, if you have the steel one and you're not working with a live panel, that's, you know, that's not that big of a deal. But, so it just seems like this gets everywhere. I was excited when I first got this. I was like, yes, we're gonna, we're gonna be able to, you know, really pull some wire in the house really fast. It's gonna go easy. 
and when I started using it, it that was not the case. Now, before I had the polyester fish tape, I had the steel one. The steel one does not like, it has a big head on it for, for, in, for instance, you know, this, it, it's a decent sized head and that, that's good, but it doesn't work well in half inch pipe. I was having trouble, especially uh, I had to do, I know uh, I had to do a short radius bend on one of the poles. And that metal fish tape would not go through a short radius bend of half inch. And it even had trouble on the 90s on a half inch bend, a uh, half inch stick of pipe that had a 90 degree bend on it. I have been using the steel one in three quarter pipe, which it still, it works pretty good. Works pretty good in three quarter pipe. Now this, polyester in three-quarter pipe. I tried pushing it up a three-quarter pipe that had to go up 20 feet, hit a 90, and then it had to go about 50 feet more. It couldn't go up. It couldn't go straight up. It had this, this polyester. See, I almost, I almost retracted it back in. See, this polyester has so much memory to it that I could not get this up a 20-foot straight piece of pipe. Now my, I went and got my fiberglass fish tape and that easily, that went up like nothing. Every day when I use this, I like cringe because I'm like, is it gonna work for me or is it not? Am I just gonna end up throwing this back in the truck and just grabbing my fiberglass fish tape? Now, when you're changing these out, it's pretty easy to change out. You just have to, when you first do it, it's kind of awkward because you have to line up you have to line up each one of these groups. So, but changing it out, you take off the three clips and then you can pull out, you can pull off the pulling unit and then you can easily swap these out. Now, I really like the concept that they have going on here. I really like this, that you can easily swap out different fish tapes for different types of jobs that you have to use. Now we can easily throw in the metal one. Now just make sure you line up everything. Make sure you line up the grooves and make sure that this is right in front of the handle. And I don't think that this is gonna line up properly. See, it's not gonna line up. So what we have to do is we have to spin this and well, we can't do that manually. So what we're gonna have to do is we have to we have to use the trigger and we have to spin the unit itself. And see, and it doesn't want to line up. But we want to make it line up. So what the easiest thing to do when you want to make this line up is just make it line up with the clips. So we're going to go forward and then it's going to drop in and then see that the the head of the fish tape is actually recesses in right at the handle. And so you're gonna have to play with the, the trigger a little bit just to make sure you get this uh, seated in there correctly. It took a while for me to kind of figure that out. It was like I was expecting it to just basically just, you know, you pull it off, you can drop it in and you can, you're good to go. Well, I you have to play, it, you have to play with it uh, a little bit. And on here, this one does say, do not retract tip of the tape into the drum. I, I, would, I would have really liked to see it like a, a stop on here. When you get to the head, there is a sensor or something that tells the unit, hey, it's at the end of the fish tape. Do not go any further because you can damage the, the unit itself. This is a really hard video for me to do, as you can see, because the, I, I loved the idea that they had for this. And it just, for some reason, it's just not working out for me. Maybe it's working out for others. Please let me know in the comments if you are in the same struggle as I am with this uh, fish tape uh, system. You know, I hope that they can make a better one in the future. 
like like I said before, I'm hoping that they come out with a fiberglass one of these because if they come out with a fiberglass version, I, I'm going to be like really on board, you know, because I, after you use it, after you use it, you you start to figure it out and you know that it the end's coming okay yeah you get a stop and everything it's a learning curve folks i i think that's what it comes down to you're gonna have to push it through the pipe it's not going to do it for you this is a polar and i had to get that through my head because i kept pushing or kind of feeding this into the pipe and expecting it to feed itself into the pipe now I would have thought that I would have needed a bigger battery for this and that wasn't the case. I'm actually pretty surprised on how much I can use this unit and uh, use a 2.0 M18 battery with it. It lasts quite a bit of time when I am using this. You know, I, I've had I've had some pros and cons with it. You know, like I said, some frustrations. Well, I feel like that I'm just ripping this apart, and this was like one of my favorite uh, items to come out, and uh, I'm pretty disappointed in it. But hopefully, over time, I'll be able to uh, use this a lot more, and uh, maybe understand and find some special ways of using it and. Uh, whatnot. Uh, we had to pull a ground wire that was a hundred feet and uh, it had, you know, it had four nineties or whatnot. And I was very hesitant of using this and I used the polyester uh, fish tape on that. And it actually, See, it actually worked out really good because it's like sometimes this surprises me and then other times I just want to throw this back in the truck. I get fed up with it. I get fed up with it and then it sits in the truck for a couple days and then, you know, I'm like, I'm going to use that today. We're going to see what it can do. And then it amazes me. And then, you know, the next day, like I said, I want to throw it back in the truck and grab my other fish tape. They have a good idea going, but that's just my take on this unit. So if you have any comments, please comment down below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and do so. I'm Philip Bridges and I'll see you on the next one.